I'm using ChatGTP to help me write my professional certificate in coaching assignment without cheating. And here's every step broken down so you can turn ChatGTP into your very own writing assistant without replacing your own intellect and learning. Okay, so I'm currently completing a CMI level five certificate in coaching, and I've got a 4,000 word assignment to submit on the role of the coach. I've done my reading and I've got some basic notes, but as it's usually the case for me, I just can't seem to get started. I always seem to struggle with mapping out essays and assignments and making sure I plan out my word count. This tends to be the biggest reason I procrastinate, and it's no different for me this time. So I'm going to use ChatGTP to help me out. Now, I could just get it to write the whole thing for me and run it through some AI rewriting software like WordTune or Quillbot to evade the AI plagiarism checkers. But not only would that be unethical and cheating, it had completely missed the point of me undertaking the qualification in the first place, which is for me to learn these principles and how to apply them. So instead, I'm going to use ChatGTP as the Robin to my Batman. Holy assignment rating, Batman! and use it to guide me in planning, researching, and writing my assignment, making sure I cover all of the criteria while sticking to my word count. And make sure you stick around until the end, where I'll show you a final trick to make sure you're getting the highest grades possible in every piece of work you do. So this is my assignment. It's Unit 532 of the CMI Level 5 Principles of Professional Coaching Qualification. And the title is The Role of the Professional Coach. We've got the grading criteria and learning outcomes for each section. As I've mentioned, the assignment is 4,000 words maximum. And as you can see, there's lots to cover in the word count. So we're going to get ChatGTP to plan out the assignment for us and give us a head start in writing it. I'm going to be engineering our prompts like a coffee filter. We're going to start off broad and they get more and more specific with our prompts, intensifying its flavor until we've got everything we need for a piping hot cup of assignment writing. Nice. The way we engineer a prompt is going to dictate how useful the response from ChatGTP is going to be in helping us smash our assignment. So we're going to start off giving the bot a persona, the assignment title, and assignment guidelines. So let's jump on the computer and we ask, act as a professional academic writer with extensive expert knowledge of professional and instructional coaching. So we've given ChatGTP a persona using the act as prompt, and now we need to let it know what we want. If we press shift and enter, we get new lines in the chat box. I need you to write me the structure for a report slash assignment. I have to write on the role of the professional coach. Now we need to give it some guidelines to follow. Assignment guidelines. Word limit of 4,000 words. Break down the report structure into section headings and write in Markdown. Writing in Markdown will format the response into bolded out sections, making it easier for us to follow later. And we ask it to indicate how many words each section should be. We need to provide ChatGTP with the learning outcomes and assessment criteria to structure the assignment around. So using the learning outcomes from the CIM assignment sheet, we ask, Create the structure around the following learning outcomes and assessment criteria. Outcome one, understand the knowledge, skills, and behaviors for delivering professional coaching. Assessment criteria for outcome one, 1. 1.1, analyze the knowledge, skills, and behaviors for delivering effective professional coaching. And 1.2, evaluate communication techniques for developing relationships in professional coaching. Let's shift and enter. And we've got learning outcome two understand how to manage the coaching relationship. Assessment criteria for outcome two. 2.1, assess approaches for developing and maintaining relationships with coachees. 2.2, evaluate approaches for managing stakeholder relationships. Learning outcome three, understand how professional coaches can be supported in their coaching role. Assessment criteria for outcome three. 3.1, justify the reasons for maintaining a record of continual professional development, CPD. 3.2, analyze the role of reflective practice in professional coaching. And 3.3, evaluate the role and purpose of coach supervision for professional coaches. 
And finally, we asked ChatGTP to provide us with a list of key questions I should answer for each assessment criteria and possible research I should include for each section. So we've got a broad prompt that gives an overview of the assignment title and topic, assignment guidelines, learning outcomes and assessment criteria to meet, and we've provided ChatGTP with a persona to write from. So let's see what that produces for us. So we've got a full assignment structure mapped out for us. It's even given us possible research we can undertake. We can get even more specific if we want by asking ChatGTP to expand on each point. So we ask it, please expand further for each section. Break down each bullet point into more detail. <laughs> now we've got the full detailed guide to writing our assignment and the assignment structure. You might find ChatGTP stops before it's finished writing out its response. If this happens, just type in carry on or continue for it to pick up where it left off. I can then copy and paste this into a Word or Google Doc and I've got each section planned out. This has saved me so much time and effort and I'm not beating myself up for not getting started yet. If there's anything I need further clarification on, I could just ask it something specific, such as, for the introduction, please provide me with possible industries where professional coaching would be significant and include a justification for your thinking. And ChatGTP gives us this section in much more detail. In fact, possibly too much. But now I've got everything I need to get started and put the meat on the bones of the report, whilst I keep my own integrity and actually consolidate my own understanding of the subject, which is a win-win. Now, one final tip to ensure you gain the maximum grades you can with your assignment is to ask ChatGTP to give you feedback on the assignment you write once you've produced it. Then you can make any further tweaks and changes before you submit it for assessment. Let's run our introduction through it and see what suggestions it provides for us. Act as an examiner for the Chartered Institute of Marketing, CIM, and give me feedback on the following section of my report. And then we paste in that section. And ChatGTP has given us some feedback for this section. I'm particularly interested in any suggestions for improvement like this. One suggestion for improvement would be to provide a brief definition or explanation of what constitutes a professional coach in the context of the report. This clarification would help readers understand the specific role and responsibilities of a professional coach and differentiate it from other forms of coaching and mentoring. So I need to make sure that I give an explanation of what a professional coach is in the context of this assignment. So now it's time for me to head back to my books and get my focus research and quotes for the report and get cracking on writing the assignment. Thanks so much for watching. And if you found this video useful, then please take a second to hit the like button and subscribe for more Tuesday tech tips. Now I could just get it to write the whole thing for me and run it through some AI rewrite rewriting. Now, I could just get it to write the whole thing for me and run it through some AI re 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 rewriting software. AI rewriting software. Now, I could just get it to write the whole thing for me and run it through some AI rewriting. Re fucking hell, rewrite